Hi, this is Nick Danbury, and we're back again with another uh, interview with a local professional. This is Eric Schaefer. He owns uh, Schaefer Douglas Title, which is a title company that we pretty much use exclusively here at Danbury Garen. He's helped many, many of our clients uh, close on their homes, but also figure out title problems, uh, avoid title problems, and you know, hopefully get a clean title so you can sell your home the next time, uh, which is super important. So, Eric, thank you very much for meeting on this. Thanks for having me, Nick. I appreciate Good it. Good to see you. Yeah. Um, what got you into uh, the title world? I kind of found it by accident when I was in law school, um, mm -hmm. looking for a summer job after the first year. Mm -hmm. I interviewed with a firm and said, you know, are you interested in doing real estate? I said, sure, because I wanted yeah. a job. And yeah. um, what they had me doing as a, as a law student was doing title searches um, mm -hmm. and working on the residential real estate side and some corporate stuff, but quickly found that I kind of enjoyed it, even yeah. though I, I wasn't what I intended to do. Sure, so, sure. And uh, once law school ended, I you know, ended up working for those guys mm -hmm. and uh, thought I might want to do some litigation and some more corporate and yep. quickly found I, I much preferred the tedium of real estate to the tedium you deal with on That's great. other parts of the law. So yeah, yeah. one thing led to another. And, here I am. So we were uh, talking before this and we were saying that how you were a transplant to Maine. So yes. was it work that brought you to Maine? Was it lifestyle? What was it that drew it you to Maine? It was purely lifestyle. So okay. after in law school saying I had no desire to work at a large law firm, mm -hmm. you know, after working at a medium sized firm for a handful of years, the headhunter called and recruited me to a large firm and I proved I was right the first time yeah. and I really didn't like being in a large law firm. So I, I basically got my midlife crisis out of the way at 30. Oh good. And uh, first kid was born and uh, my wife wanted to come back east and I was not enjoying working at a large firm and sure. so we decided just to chuck it and move east. She's from Hartford originally area Yeah. And I didn't really want to work in Hartford. Sure. And so we opened a map and said small city, short commute, you know, water and uh, skiing. and. Yeah. So how about Portland? And we just decided to move. I really admire people that have that gumption. Like that that just, you know what, I'm gonna go here. Cause it's really a daunting thing. And you came with a yeah. young one at the time. Yeah, he was eight months old when we moved here. You know, it was, it was a little bit of a crazy move, but it was a kind of a calculated leap, which we've sure. done a few different times. Yeah. You know, even I was working at a law firm when I got here and they had a subsidiary title company, mm -hmm. uh, but I was doing the billable stuff still yeah. um, and an opportunity for a client who wanted his own title company came up and I decided to leave the billable world and sure. go completely in on the title side, which was, you know, a little daunting you mm -hmm. know, if it didn't work out, you know, do I go back to billables? But um, I realized yeah. I much more enjoyed working with people to buy a house. It was a much more pleasant and uh, productive piece. Everybody usually is trying to put things together. Right. Uh, the billable world is occasionally more contentious. So. Sure, sure. So now um, your organization, you're you're obviously a title, you're an attorney, but correct. you specialize in title terms. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, and you know, these days, so many of the attorneys who come out of law school, they just never even end up in a courthouse mm -hmm. doing a title search. So luckily, myself and then John Kirk, who's the other attorney I have with us, you know, we both came into law at the time in the 90s where, you know, the thing you did with law clerks was you threw them in the registry of deeds because mm -hmm. it was something that they could start off with and sure. was helpful to the firm. So, um, so we've got a long background between us mm -hmm. uh, and seen all, so many stories on things going wrong and everything else. That yeah. you, you learn a lot of it just by experience and seeing things go sideways and then figuring out how to fix it for folks. So, yeah. so uh, give me a little bit of information on your, on your organization now. So Schaefer Douglas Title has uh, three offices. Mm -hmm. um, we have one in South Portland, um, one in Yarmouth, mm -hmm. and also in Topsom. So covering that 295, 95 corridor. Mm -hmm. um, although we do closings throughout the state, uh, we will travel a lot. Um, so I was gonna ask you, do, do, do you cover the whole state? I mean, you go to the county and stuff like that? Um, we've gone to the county occasionally, but sure. it's usually not our main area. We primarily focus on uh, mid coast, mm -hmm. west out to Sugarloaf and south. Okay. Uh, we do a lot in the mountain region. We do a lot in the mid coast area. Yeah. But our primary core is in the greater Portland, Lewiston, Augusta kind of area. So. Sure. So, what are the top three things people should do when buying a home and dealing with your officer? So, what I'm hearing is title search, title insurance, and a mortgage inspection survey. Correct. Anything else that we're missing? You know, uh, the, the other stuff. The important stuff comes before they even show up at our door. That's working with a realtor who 
has the experience necessary to actually help them with the house. Mm -hmm. And if they're getting a loan, working with a loan officer who sure. is reputable and knows what they're doing also. Too often, you know, we, we love to help direct buyers to uh, the people we know who do a good job. Mm -hmm. We usually only find out that they've been looking for a house after they've already worked with a realtor and a loan officer. Depending on who you work with, it makes a huge difference in how your transaction goes and how well the client's protected. So. Right. Right. So, you've been here in Maine now tw 21 years? 20. 20 this year. Uh, it's, so, we've been here 20 years, yeah. and, uh, and and the small world pieces, of course, Nick helped move us to Maine. <laughs> so, uh, we were, our, our first point of contact with real estate in Maine was yeah. with Nick. So, yeah. uh, helps uh, schlep us and our eight-month-old son around uh, and look at homes and it was a hot market at the time it so was. it was it was it was a struggle with rising prices and trying to get in before things went under contract uh, much like the situation we're in today, much like uh, in today. so yes yeah, so we've been here for 20 years weren't quite sure what we we're getting into but we've loved being in Maine now I couldn't imagine being anywhere else at this point so. where are your three favorite places to eat hmm three favorite places to eat yeah. um, Four Street is mm -hmm. you know, a phenomenal restaurant. I mean, it gets all the attention and it's deserved yeah. at this point. Other favorite restaurants uh, would be Eventide is a good casual spot to mm -hmm. get the brown butter lobster roll. Yeah. Um, you know, it's nice in the winter time when most of the tourists go away and you can sure. actually get in without waiting in line. Right. Um, and the other one that we really love too is Scales. Um, like Scales. Also a great one on the waterfront. Um, so. You know, and we've still managed to continue eating out in, during the last couple of years. Yeah. That's just the choice has been far more limited and harder to get in. So looking forward right. to everything getting back to normal this summer, hopefully. Agreed. Uh, any outdoor activities that you and your family enjoy? We love to ski and love to hike and enjoy the outdoors, especially when our kids were young. Yeah. Great, cheap, easy way to get out and enjoy Maine, you know, whether right. it's up to Wolf's Neck Park or all the other various parks and areas along the coast where you can just go out and see beautiful vistas or head into the interior towards the lakes region. There's some great hikes overlooking Sebago and other spots. Um, just a great way to get out and enjoy Maine. And yeah. uh, you know, part of the reason we moved up here was so that we could get more skiing in. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Ohio and uh, the skiing there was minimal. Uh, <laughs> I was out three days a week in high school at uh, our yeah. nearest mountain, uh, you know, rocking 300 vertical, uh, yeah. doing lots of laps. And I told my boys they're lucky to have Sugarloaf as their home base now. Uh, That's we've great. Been, we started renting there when they were grade school. Yeah. And after a handful of years of renting, we pulled the trigger and now have a condominium up there. And so we try to go out most weekends, although yeah. with a high school senior, it's been tough to get up with uh, school obligations and stuff. But yeah. uh, love to spend time up there. So Eric, how can people get a hold of you? So our main line number is 207-775-0900. Mm -hmm. Our website is sdtitlemain.com. Yep. You can also email us at info at sdtitlemain.com. Great. Well, thanks so much, Eric, for coming in. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys need any help title work-wise, I cannot recommend these folks enough. Uh, Eric and John have been an email away and a phone call away for me for years um, and help me work through a lot of problems and get a lot of properties closed and suc successfully for our clients. So if you want to come to Maine and uh, enjoy skiing and food and biking and hiking, uh, give us a call here at Danbury Garen, 207-553-2400. If you want to get a hold of us at teamdanburygarren.com, that would be great.